Are you thinking about starting a career as an Agile coach, yet aren't sure where to start? Have you been looking at Agile coaching job roles and you still have tons of questions around the experience and skills needed to succeed? If you are curious about becoming an Agile coach... Hey, hey, friends, Dawn Nicole here. And what you just watched is the world's first Agile course taught by an AI instructor. And I'm going to share with you today how I was invited to help with the programming and what this means for the future of Agile and the intersection of AI and how you can help too. So don't go anywhere. I'm going to unpack how I got access to this opportunity, some key lessons I learned, and how you could perhaps be a key contributor in the future. Don't don't go anywhere, stay right here on this channel. Hey, hey, it is Dawn Nicole here. Welcome. Listen, if this is your first time to acing your Agile career with Dawn Nicole, then we are super happy you are here. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so that you never miss out on any great videos and you don't miss out on value. And listen, if you are a returning Acer, welcome back. We are so excited to have you. So listen, let's get into this video. So again, if you just watched the video at the top, you saw that this was Paul and he was getting ready to deliver an AI course. Now, now, thanks to Skilldora, which is 100% an AI platform that teaches using AI digitally created humans to deliver power pack lessons, um, I was invited to this opportunity. Now, in full transparency, Skilldora is my husband's company. I'm a partner in the company. However, I was still very excited to play a critical key role in the Agile space. But there are some things that caught me off guard. There are some things that I learned that was a little surprising. So if you've been following me, you know that my background is is uh, Agile coaching and it's also an accredited Agile trainer. This means I'm used to live interaction. I'm used to humans, folks, right? I'm used to asking a question. I'm used to eye contact. I'm used to maybe cracking a joke here or there, although I don't know how good it is. But my point is I'm used to that human interaction. However, one of the first things I learned with programming AI is that it's not enough to take all of your knowledge up here and to transform that over or translate that because it doesn't actually translate very well. You see, if you just give your knowledge over to the programming, it reads very much like a blog, right? And so the output would be very stocky and blocky and somewhat staunch. It would be not that appealing. So one of the first lessons I learned with working with my AI counterpart, Paul, that's what we call them, is that I had to make the content not only good, but I had to make it conversational because human learners are used to somewhat of a human experience. And although AI is a very unique market where people People are coming to learn from AI, they still are used to that human experience. We still have our human behaviors. So I had to build in some welcoming jargon. I had to build in some conversational tone. So it's really different when you are programming and working with an AI, you can't just deliver the content itself or the subject matter. You have to also build some buffers around it. So that was lesson one and aha number one that caught me off guard. Lesson two, I am used to being in the pilot seat driving. So I am used to using words like I and you and I, right? And and I speak in the first person, obviously, because I'm teaching the course and I'm working with students or learners, right? However, when you are programming for AI, for your AI counterpart, you have to leave space for the AI instructor to be the star or sort of um, the, the pilot, the lead character. So you are not building this from a first person experience, but the goal is to take all of your Great subject matter expertise and to package it in a way where the connection is sustained between the student and the AI instructor, which is a little different if you haven't done that. So if you want some tips on that, hit me up, email me. I can share a little bit more about my experience with that. And then thirdly, as a, a real instructor, um, we're not as time box as we would like to be, right? We go off script. We like to tell stories. And many of our courses are lengthy, especially if people are paying for them. However, Skilldora's model is to really deliver compact 60 minute courses. And their, their slogan is courses you can take on the lunch break. And of course they appeal to the professional market. So these courses have to be succinct 
Well, I found myself really wanting to deliver a ton of information and trying to figure out how do I help to program an awesome high impact course in minimal time. So this was one of the challenges for me. I was eventually able to do it. So the course is 60 minutes. If you want to go check out that course or take that course, how to start your career as an agile coach, there is a link below where you can actually get access to the world's first AI instructed course teaching agile. So go and check that out. Very, very excited about that. Um, but anyway, so I ended up doing that and making sure that I fit the model. And these are the three things that I learned. So you're probably wondering what does this look like for the future of agile coaches and agile trainers and i'm here to tell you it is not about putting anyone out of business in fact it is about evolution and opening up the door to new possibilities meaning if you're a coach or a trainer today and you're interested in programming and working with uh skill dora for example or other big companies that are pioneering ai in the learning space then there is a spot for you at the table my friends you can be a key contributor in all of this okay so again i hope that this video was helpful if you got a ton of value hit the like button hit the subscribe button share this video with someone and let me know what you think in the comments would you take a course with the ai would you be interested in programming having a hand in the future of making sure that the ai instructor fleet can grow let me know your thoughts in the comments uh and until next time continue to come back to this channel where you get real advice from a real practitioner in her real office. As always, you all, keep calm and be agile with Dawn Nicole. Take care.